Thanks for attending. I'm, I'm talking about debugging as a title is load to white mages. Uh, I'm Kuniaki Igarashi. Uh, Twitter account is IGA IGA555. I'm a Ruby and Rails freelancer in Tokyo, and I wrote some book, Ruby book in Japan. I uh, love Ruby, love Taiwan, love Ushiren. <laughs> uh, I like Taiwan, Taiwan tea very, very much. So I bought a lot of tea leaves like that. But the size is same as my bag. So I'm thinking, how do I bring them to my home? And um, let me know your favorite tea leaves shops in Taiwan. OK. Uh, in this talk, we are talking about debugging. First, I will talk about Ruby basics used for for the uh, Ruby basics useful for debugging. Second one is main contents: how to trace instance variables assignment. I will talk about how to use trace point on Ruby VM abstract syntax tree to debugging. In third, I will introduce some great techniques. Uh, what's magic in Ruby? So in metaprogramming Ruby book, techniques in metaprogramming. What's metaprogramming? Writing calls to generate calls and writing calls to manipulate calls in learning. But in my opinion, magic will make something that looks impossible possible. And in Japan, we have two great black mages, uh, Joka-san and Morris-san. Why are they great black mages? So black mages, black magic sometimes would go out of control. Black magic affects incredible ways. Great black mages have skill to control the power too. Uh, this, they are rules in black magic from Joka-san. Uh, don't destroy built-in libraries. Keep stack traces traceable to take performance into account. Writing trace point code explicit. We must use black magic in safety, but that's difficult to control precisely. So we, we can try easier in non-production code. For example, debugging code. So let's start to use magic in debugging. Uh, in this talk, white magic is magical techniques for debugging. They are this talk contents again. First, we are talking about Ruby basics for debugging. So how to talk with objects? I'm talking about Ruby basics for debugging and Ruby object tell us a lot of information. First, how to use debugger? We can suspend programs by binding IRB. This is a built-in library. And we can use some pry gems. And we can also use condition to suspend uh, like this. And it's useful to use M. So in the case using A, we can choose stop or not on console like this. Prying, mm, you know. Like this, uh, prying through and pry off. And who are you? A uh, kernel class method gets class object, and kernel object ID method gets object serial numbers. What kind or number of objects are there? Uh, object space is a built-in class uh, that module to treat Ruby object worlds, and getting all class object, so object space, each object class, we can get all Ruby class object. What method do you have? Methods method shows us 
callable methods for receiver. In receiver is instance, we can get instance methods. And receiver is class, we can get class methods. Where I'm from? Uh, define information getting with method object. Method objects are got by object method or module instance method. And using method object, we can get defined the information, for example, source location or owner or parameters. We can use method methods like this. Where I from? So we can we can show source files for gem by gem pitch command and band show and band open. And show methods called history. The kernel corner methods tell us methods called history. And kernel corner locations uh, same as Cora, but get thread backtrace, location objects, it's easy to get information. And exception backtrace method get methods called history that collects in the exception days, useful in rescue. And how to change or get objects? We can get, uh, we can modify objects, especially Instance eval is useful to change instance variables. So we can also call private methods using instance eval. And last one, using binding, we can change local variables, but I don't recommend it. Uh, this is my opinion, so in Ruby, we have a two worlds, source code world and objects world. So in drama metaphor, source code is an acting script. Only we can do is writing this script. Objects world is a stage, a world learning programs. And we, can, we can't act in there and we can't watch them. So debugging is difficult. This is conclusion. So we can get many information to talk with objects. And we can also change objects in almost case. And there is a distance in source code world and object world. And we will, we will use some of them later. Uh, next session is case study, storing instance variable. Uh, we, we think how to detect assignment of instance variable. In this case, in a Rails app, displaying book data with instance variable at the books, but the shown data are incorrect. The right side is correct case this one, but in our application, something incorrect. So find how to trace assignment of instance variables. For global variable case, we have a kernel traceable method, but there are no methods for instance variables. And the instance variables are not objects, so we can't talk with them. And, and my code is in GitHub, my page, Iga Iga, Rebicon Taiwan 2019. So first, target code is the following one in minimal. Goal. Trace assignment to at high this variable. And in this story, we don't use grep. 
we are trying to get assignment information using with trace point. Make trace point with block. Specified events called the block. Uh, this is trace point block. The line events triggered when execute code. Uh, let's <coughs> left side, they are trace point events. We have some events. Uh, we use line. Right side, code using with trace point. Make trace point with block. Specify line event. And this, this block code in every Ruby code Ruby code execution like this and like this. And this is a log from trace point block. In the trace point block, they are useful information by trace point object in block variable TP. Uh, this one. And we can find methods by tp.methods. Uh, this is a useful method in TP object. And we can put the information in blocks so we write log the TP information. Our TP block code is code with all executed code, but we only need instance variable assignment code. So how to get the meaning of code? How to find instance variable assignment code? Unfortunately, by TP object, we can't, we can get some information, but we can't get the triggered code directly. So we couldn't get triggered code by TP object, but we know triggered code pass and line, line number. So let's open the source file using file.open method and open the source file. And we can get the triggered code by file open method. Okay. Next, we want to know what the, this code mean. Using Ruby VM abstract syntax tree dot pass method, so we can get what's the meaning of the code. What's the AST? In Ruby VM, Ruby execute calls with some steps. Ruby code changes to tokens and AST and ISAC. AST is this step. And we can get about AST object using with Ruby VM abstract syntax tree dot pass method, this one. Abstract syntax tree pass methods returns AST node object. Using methods method, we can get AST node object structure. Uh, we are looking for AST node object structure, and I think I think that looks like instance variable assignment by emoji. <laughs> This AC node object looks like instance variable assignment and looking for Ruby source code, the AIASGN type means instance variable assignment code. Uh, this one. So Checking AC node type is IASGN. We, we wrote checking instance variable assignment call. 
So we can write like this, uh, node type equal equal I assign. Okay, so the current code is detecting all instance variable assignment. Next, detecting only specified instance variable name. And we can get instance variable name by node object. So we make argument specified variable name and check instance variable name. And current code detecting specified instance variable assignment. And next, detecting assignment in specified class. We have TP object, so TP.safe method get objects that trigger the event. And TP.safe is a method check the object is a KLAS class object. So we, we make an argument specify class and check code the class. Okay, so we we did it. So we we make a code to detecting assignment of instance variables. So next, let's back to the laser application and try to use the, this technique. Uh, this is sample laser application. It's very easy. So laser new books up and the laser generate scaffold book title and memo and let it migrate and place this code in configuration risers and folders. And specify instance variable name here. And it doesn't specify class name to detect in all classes. First, we are testing in normal case, so we have no problem in this code. Access to slash books, uh, books controller index action, and using auto books in view file. An assignment to auto books code is in controller. This is normally. And we, we got access log, and we, we get log line by trace point. So it's OK. It's detecting assignment. So let's back to the first problem. So right side is correct case, but in our application is this case. This is a case a criminal is a controller. Detected log appears a criminal is in books control line eight. So we have two log lines. So line seven is normal case, and line eight is criminal, is in criminal. So we can we can get detected. Okay, it it's it looks good. This is another case. In this case, we can't detect a criminal. So we we only have a line only normal case, but we, 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 could, we couldn't find a criminal. Why? In the case, a criminal is in view file. The code detects assignment in view because in this case, source code has ERB tag uh, like this. So we, so this is not Ruby code because they, they have a RB tags. So ST pass method return syntax error. Okay, so let's write code to adapt. 
adapt ERB. Uh, we use regular expression like this and remove ERB tags and get this, this part by much data captures first. Try again, and we we got access log and two lines, and uh, this is a view file log, so we can arrest the problem. It's okay. Uh, conclusions: so How to detect assignment of instance variables? Make trigger using trace point line. Get source file with trace point information. Analyze with Ruby VM abstract syntax tree path. Type IA SGN means instance variable assignment. And the source code is on GitHub. And I, I publish. I also published. Instance variable tracer gem in that code, so you can you can try to gem install instance variable tra tracer, but sorry, it's a uh, experimental, so I I only adapt ERB, no stream and hammer. And last section, so I'm talking about white magic survey articles. First, Tracer. Tracer is a standard library, and Tracer outputs a source level execution trace using with kernel set trace funk in Tracer. I'll write this code to read the application and get log.txt file and like this. And uh, in, in the log, source file information is here and execute code, execute code is here. So you can you can grab uh, your code by this uh, for this log file. And you can also filter in unwatched output filter by using block. And D-trace, D-trace is attach learning process and probe something and learn actions. So for example, we can use uh, put log when method calls are made and counting method calls. About probes, so all probes is written in this page. Uh, D-trace is faster than trace point, but we need as you do to run. And uh, I know Aron-san is very, Aron-san is know well this, this trace. So if you have a question, let's ask to Aron-san. Next one is object space allocation source file. Uh, return the source file origin from the given object. A little complex, so ob object space is built in class, and object space, OBJ space, is a standard library to add some methods to object space. And uh, this allocation source file method gets source file the object was made. And allocation source line is get a uh, line number of the source file. So you write require object space and start tracing and write this uh, code and you can get object allocation information. And this article is in Aron San's blog. So if you have a question, let's ask to Aron San. And signal trap. This technique is very unique. Light signal trap with block. This block is called when you want anytime. We can execute 
code. We, we can execute any code frame we want. It's not depends on execute code, like a written binding dot .py. It depends on only the time to raise a signal. Unfortunately, we can throw signal easily like this. And this article is in Aron Sand blog too. And next one is GGEM. G is uh, similar to P. So G is a method displaying on notifications. So you can you can use this and you can display like this. And I'm making station signage with G. So this is a demo. So this one. So this gem shows uh, your access controller and actions. So I, I think this gem is very useful, but I, I wrote this code in application controller, some my joint product and comment out. Uh, some people delete them, so I, I make gem and to write in gem file. Uh, station signage gem is here, and you can you can you can use this gem by use gem install station signage. And this gem is only a line, so in application controller and write. Before action, G, class name, action name, only this line. And that's all. So um, tell me more about your debugging experience. So this is the differences. And special thanks to Aaron san And last, so my, I would like to talk about me. So I'm a Ruby and Rails freelancer in Tokyo and five Ruby Japan technical advisor and working in Pixie and GM Paperbo and other companies in Japan. And I wrote some Ruby books in Japan and my Twitter account is here. Yes, I appreciate that I have a chance to talk in Ruby of Taiwan again. Thanks for attending, Xie Xie. Do we have any questions from the audience? Anybody got any questions? Raise your hand if you have any questions. Don't be shy. Do we have any questions? Do we have <laughs> so I, I have a question to you. So I, I, I would like I would like to know so when when did you start to use Ruby? So in in one year? Or uh, uh you are you are Ruby you are Ruby you are using Ruby in another uh, one, one year and uh, in three years. How about it? Yong Sanyan then in three years. Xin Ju Show Sha. Uh-huh. And five years. Oh. And ten years. And more. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. I uh thank you. Okay, how? 我们再次谢谢五十岚先生。Okay,